All right, guys. So yesterday I had uh, Armando and his son Nick down from Miami. Uh, I didn't get any footage, but we just kept it simple. Fished for trout and snappers in the bay. Uh, it was really good, constant action. We got you know plenty of fish for uh, lunch for them, and uh, it was fun. Uh, end of the half day, we had about a half hour left. We went and uh, checked out a channel I hadn't been in a while. Um, was interested to see if there was any tarp in there, and I told them we'd probably at least catch a shark, which we caught several sharks. We did uh, we did see some signs of tarp, and they didn't bite for us. Uh, and we only fished for about 20 minutes, but uh, they were there. So today I went back out. Matt had messaged me a few days ago. We really wanted to catch a tarpon. I told him fishing had been pretty slow the last few weeks, um, especially with all the wind and rain we've had. Um, so we'd probably have to work out a little bit, but luckily um, caught bait the last couple afternoons. So the night before I messaged him, I said, hey, we got the bait, we're good to go there. And uh, I had seen some tarpon, you know, that day. So I said, things look pretty good. Let's give it a try. So we got out there early today, and uh, as luck would have it, the tarpon were still there. So that was a good sign. Hopefully they're settled in. And uh, he ended up catching three of them. He caught a 20, 25 pounder, then he caught a 50 pounder. Finished up with like a 100 pounder that uh, we fought for like an hour. Got him boat side, but unfortunately he went through the leader on us, but still a good catch. And we got some good pictures of the other ones. So awesome morning. He was super happy, and uh, I'm happy too. I'm hoping that means maybe these tarpon are settling in. Like I said, July overall has been uh, slower than we normally like. I've had a few good days here and there, but a lot of days just working all day for a couple bites. Um, but maybe it's going to start getting good now. August sometimes can be really good. So can September, even October for tarpon. And there's other stuff to catch too. So check out some shots from today, guys. All right, guys, Andy, Nick, and Drew fished with me yesterday. We had red hot tarpon fish, and we got one to the boat and two others for technical leader releases. But I think we put about eight in the air total. So great fishing. All right, guys, so we let this cobia go. It was his lucky day, and we finished the day catching plenty of trout and snappers, and we kept some of those for dinner. So overall, guys, tarpon fishing has gotten much, much better. Uh, it looked like the fish were settled in. We found them several days in a row. So I'm excited for August. Hopefully that's going to be some good fishing for us. We found an injured spoonbill here. We're going to try to get him and 
dry them off. Grab my shirt right from under that between right there. Probably got claws anyway. Come here, baby. Come on, don't panic. Push it, steer him towards me. The big bird. See if we can see what's wrong with him, if he's got a line on him or a hook or something. Appears to be very tired, not much fight in him. Maybe take him over by land and release him. I mean, let's just maybe let him just hang out on the boat while we fish yep. and then, uh, okay. yeah, we can kind of do something with him. Is it look, let Later. me see that wing. Does it look all no, open? No, it looks fine. It's going to open. His wings fold, yeah, it, right? Yeah, it folds, looks just right? about out of gas. Maybe he wants to drink some fresh water. He's just tired. Now, uh, platform there. Holy cow. You think there's any chance he'll be all right? <laughs> Can't stand up. He doesn't have enough strength to stand up. No. Trying to... home now and uh, we're gonna wrap the bird up and bring him with us because he doesn't seem like he wants to take off on his own. We just made it back to the dock. Our fine feathered friend is still here. Rosie. We named her Rosie. Hopefully the, uh, the Wild Bird Center people are gonna be here at the dock and uh, we're gonna give them to, her, to, uh, to them and uh, hopefully they'll be able to take care of her and make her fly again. Cuba and she fell in the water. All right, we're gonna go put her in the in the room here, await the uh, the bird people. Oh, it's a spoon. A spoon bird. <clears throat> we call it spoon. A spoon, cuchara. Cuchara, cuchara bird. Spoon. Yep, that's right. Oh, beautiful. Where you got that one? She was floating in the water. What Oh, something wrong? <laughs> It looks, you know, I don't know how it got in the water, but it's been floating for a long time. Nothing wrong? Exhausted. No. It was just exhausted. It was just it looks much better now. Yeah, it's just, I think they're just going to leave her in here. Okay. What are you guys going to do with that? Eat it? Pretty much. Make a pattern. No, they call it the bird people. Is it food? Yes, it is. Yes. Putting her in the box instead. What's up, Jerry? Problem. I don't know, we found it just floating in the water. Hey, we do the little guys too. Hey, Tyler, you want to be on YouTube, dude? Hey, gang, thanks for tuning into our YouTube channel. I'm standing here behind the Calyx. Had a nice day out here on this Sunday afternoon. I'm here with Trey. Yeah, this is my son, Lay. And Lay? This is his friend, Tyler. Tyler, you guys ride right on Calyx today? Yep. Yeah, we have This is your work time. here? Let Tell me, me about your day offshore on Calyx. How'd it go, guys? Good. Yeah, it was good. We you limited go? out on yellowtail, so you can't beat that. Okay. Captain Alex is always on it. Okay. How about the mate on this boat? How, how did all that work out? 
Get tight, sucker. That's your first time offshore? Yes, Apparently sir. not. All right, so that's what we got going on around Bud and Mary. Just business as usual. We're fishing safe. So uh, just keep tight. We'll look at some other stuff there. Harry, how are you today? I'm great, Captain. The weather straightened out and the fishing was fabulous. All right, there's the Captain of the Kalis right here. Bud and Mary's. Thanks, guys. Good work. Lots of, lots of action here today at uh, Bud and Mary's Marina. Most of the big boats went out. We had a lot of guide action in here. And coming up the channel, we got the Miss Isla Marotta. She's been out for a full day. Wheeling her on in. Let's run down and see what she caught. Marotta. She's tied up at her berth. Big day. They got a big bucket of fish out there. And they're fixing to spill out the catch. Here we go. Here's Jude. And Ray are our mates. This is the local ruffian, Captain Max Gaspity. Look at that. Wow, yellowtail, mangrove, mud. Okay. Okay, let's see what you got. Fine, old cow. Dang! Let's take it. You guys are busy out there today. You're on this boat today? Yes, I was. And what's your name? Crystal. Hey Crystal, where are you from? Brevard County. Brevard County. Have you been on the Miss Alamorada before? I have not. Tell me about your day out there on Miss Alamorada, Captain Walton. It was wonderful. All the mates were awesome. They helped us catch some awesome fish, and we had a good time making memories. All right. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Check us out. You're a movie star now on the YouTube channel. Thank you. Yeah, I'm on. Here's one of our regulars. This is a local gal, Amy. Tell us about your trip on the Miss Island Water Day. Amy. Oh, we had a great time. We uh, brought a bunch of our family from out of town with us and uh, caught a bunch of yellowtail and some mangrove snappers. We uh, had our 11-year-old niece with us. And wow. She got to do some yellowtail fishing. That was her favorite off the back of the boat. Okay. You told me that uh, you actually stopped and got live bait on the way out? Yeah, they uh, they did the cast net thing off the back of the boat, so it was pretty cool to see them oh, wow. you know, get that all ready and get some ballyhoo. And, okay. and, uh, Throw it on. All right, well, I know they're going to call out your fish here in a minute, so don't let me interrupt you. Yeah. I remember I said the roughest stuff is Jamaica and I know. I remember I said the roughest stuff is Jamaica and I know. Jamaica Mike, I don't know. Jamaica Mike is going to get some fish. Big up every fan, big up everybody. See you. You got it, buddy. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay. Hey, guys, lift up your marks. Help us out, guys. Top tail. So we got a pretty good catch. One throw. Captain Walt runs a tight show on the Miss Island Marauder. Captain Walt, oh, you did it again. No slow today, no current, but we made him bite. We, we made him bite. Could. All right, thanks for watching just on the YouTube channel. Me and my buddy. Cow oh, Wall. Yeah, baby. Miss Isla Murata. Every day. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video and hit that subscribe button to see more. You can call Bud and Mary's at 305 664 2461 to book all your fishing needs. Again, summertime fishing is, uh, is getting really hot right now. It doesn't slow down down here just because it gets hot. So uh, business is starting to slow down a little bit after lobster weekend. We got fishing trips available. If you're coming down to go lobstering, be safe and uh, have a good time, guys. All right, we'll catch you next time.